Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to look at prime factorization. We're breaking it down. So what you can expect to see in this lesson is factor trees, which is one way of doing prime factorization. And then we'll talk about prime factorization, what it is. First off, let's go to the trees. A factor tree is when you break down a number into its factors. Factors are numbers that multiply together to give you a certain number. So what are two numbers that multiply together to give you 12? We don't want to use the factor of 1 and 12 because that won't help us. But other than that, we can use any factors. So I'm just going to use the numbers 3 and 4. 3 times 4 equal 12. So 3 and 4 are factors of 12. And 3 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle it. Whenever we come to any prime numbers, we just go ahead and circle those. 4 is not a prime number. It is broken down into the factors of 2 and 2, which are then circled because they are both prime numbers. Now we have our factor tree, and it shows us that 3 times 2 times 2 is equal to 12. And that's true. These are prime numbers that multiply together to give us 12. Let's do another factor tree. 14. Maybe not quite as fun because there's basically two factors of 14. Other than 1 and 14, the factors are 2 and 7. 2 times 7 is 14. Those are both prime numbers. And so we're done. 2 times 7 is 14. Those are the prime numbers that would multiply together to give you 14. Let's do another factor tree with one that's a little bit more exciting. The factor tree for 27. 27, the factors of 27, I think of 3 times 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Notice um, as we're going through this that knowing your multiplication facts is really a helpful tool, being able to, to pull out those factors pretty quickly. So 3 times 9 is 27. I'm going to go ahead and circle 3 because it is a prime number. 9 can then be broken down further into 3 times 3. Now we have 3. 3 and 3, those are all prime numbers. 3 times 3 times 3 does give us 27. So that is the list of the prime numbers that would multiply together to give us 27. We're going to do one more, just because I haven't had enough of this yet. And this is fun. Factor trees are fun. Let's do 16. 16 has lots of factors. We could do 2 times 8. We could do 4 times 4. I'm going to try and keep it as balanced as possible by doing 4 times 4. If you, if you have options of factors, try and pick factors that are kind of close to each other, and it'll keep your tree balanced. So 16 is 4 times 4. 4 and 4 are both composite numbers. They are not prime numbers. So we have to go one step further. 2 times 2 gives us 4. Now we have two prime numbers. We're going to do exactly the same thing on this side because 2 times 2 is still equal to 4 over there. So the prime numbers that multiply together to give you 16 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. You can go ahead and multiply that together. You will get 16. This is what a factor tree is. Factor tree is when you take a number, you break it into its prime factors, kind of draw them out, and circle those prime factors, those prime numbers when you get to them. And when you get to a prime number, you stop. All right, now we're going to talk about prime factorization. Prime factorization is when you write a number as a product of prime numbers. Now that might sound complicated, but basically it's exactly what we've been doing. We've been taking a number like, like uh, 4 and 16 and, and 14, I can't remember all the ones we've done. We've been taking those numbers and we've been breaking them down so that they're written as a product of prime numbers. Product just means multiplication. So when you're multiplying the prime numbers, that's our prime factorization. So instead of saying, let's make a factor tree, I'm going to say, solve this using prime factorization, because that's what teacher voice sounds like. All right, <clears throat> prime factorization, 6 times 4 is 24. Again, I could use 2 times 12 or 3 times 8, but I'm going to use 6 times 4 because it's kind of balanced. The numbers are close to each other. 6 breaks down into being 3 times 2. Those are two prime numbers. 4 breaks down into being 2 times 2, which is prime numbers. So my number, 24, is 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 
prime factorization. Ha ha ha, that's right, I fooled you. While you were watching factor trees, I fooled you into learning something you didn't even know you were learning. Prime factorization. It's just writing a number as the product of its prime numbers. So, quick recap. Factor tree looks like this. Prime factorization looks like this. It's the numbers that are multiplied, the prime numbers that are multiplied together to give you your original number. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.